Following the six intense competitive matches at the iconic Arthur Ashe Stadium, the Fortnite community has finally crowned its first ever Solos World Cup champion. Booga, the player who many honestly didn't think would win, has taken home the trophy. It's safe to say he's set for life. I mean, I'd even take the participation prize of $100,000. So 100 of the best players worldwide took part in this enormous event, only to be stomped by Booga. And the craziest part about it is that he didn't just win, he dominated. He had a lead of over 25 points, meaning even if he didn't participate in that last game, he still would have won. Many of our favorite pros like Dubs, Mongrel, Stompy, and Clicks didn't even appear on the top 10 list. Many pro players that we spent all our time watching have failed us. This is a huge shock to millions of players out there. It seems like Fortnite's veterans may be losing their touch and making way for new, younger talent. The average age of the Fortnite World Cup participants was 16 years old, but don't take my word for it. Just check out the leaderboards after the World Cup concluded. Click here. In fact, it looks to me as if most of our favorite pros didn't even make top 10. So what exactly helped Booga perform so phenomenally? What was going on there? With millions on the line, it seemed that a lot of the qualifiers who were once hitting 100 plus points each week were letting nerves get to them. Second place only had 33 points, way behind Booga. But let's not discredit Booga's skills here. Take a look at Booga's teammate, Aspect. He tweeted this, here. I forgot how to aim until the last game, but Booga is nuts. That tells us something. If Aspect, a Sentinels pro player who consistently plays top 20 every week of the qualifiers, was panicking, imagine everybody else. I mean, Clicks, Tifu, The Goat, Dubs, and Bizzle? Where are these guys? All the legends everybody thought would at least make top 5 are nowhere to be seen. So now we come down to Booga. How did Booga do it? What made this 16-year-old savage so consistent throughout all the World Cup games? In order to get an answer, we've compiled all of his insane pop-offs so you can see why exactly Booga is so masterful at Fortnite. Booga makes an excellent push. In a 20-man circle, he decides to take a side angle. Booga is quick to claim an elimination point and then walls himself off. After regaining some loot, another challenger arrives. But instead of taking this fight, Booga holds off. He notices he's very close to the top 10 placement points and doesn't want to mess that up. Booga waits patiently and plans out his next move. This is going to be the deciding factor. In a fierce lobby like this, Booga can't risk anything. Only six games to play tends to force a lot of people on edge. A few milliseconds could be the cause of life and death. Booga has a fantastic loadout. He rotates the zone using his shadow bombs. One unique point I noticed is that Booga is always careful to secure placement points. He plays for the end game and takes kills as they come. Booga is looking for the right opportunity. Another fantastic habit Booga seems to have is that he likes to rotate early and from side angles. This is a very advantageous way to rotate because you can only get shot at from two angles. You have the storm and then the exposed angles, making it easier to avoid incoming damage. Most players won't take storm damage to rotate inward. The few that do, well, Booga will be ready for them. At this point in the game, the loadout Booga's rocking is spectacular. Not only does he have the materials needed to win, but his weapon setup is great too. Booga follows up with his shadow bomb to avoid any type of confrontation, hoping for more players to die out. Notice Booga isn't looking for any kills here. He's patiently waiting for more players to die out. After he gets to the bottom, he pre-aims a perfect ADS shot and follows up with a building. Then he follows up with another pre-aimed shot and yep, that's bye bye to our buddy Clicks. Let's take a look at positioning for a moment. Booga is in the top five and is on ultimate low ground. What is he gonna do? Let's find out. Booga is quick to use his final shadow bomb, hoping for even more players to die out. But wait a minute, he sees the perfect opportunity for a kill. He gets a 200 IQ angle on his opponent and takes him out with two lethal shots. That's what I call Kovacs out of my mind. After claiming the elimination points, you'd expect a break, right? Not exactly. Another opponent jumps out of nowhere. It's Psalm. Booga doesn't panic. He doesn't choke. He takes the dogfight and is rewarded when he takes out Psalm. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. The one versus one. Booga knows the enemy has high ground, but he's got something better. The mighty impulse grenades. Every pro player's worst nightmare. Free height and destructive power combined into one tiny grenade are all Booga needs to win. He goes for the play by timing the grenade beneath him. After claiming height, he's able to tag the enemy. Now he knows Krayo is low health, so Booga's killer instincts take over and he uses keen game sense to fish Krayo out. Krayo does a foolish edit, allowing Booga to tag him on the feet, claiming that victory. I love how hyped up he is after this win. Now, what exactly did we learn in this clip? I think Sundown knows it best. Let's listen in. Let's take a look into some of his eliminations and how he's been able to build himself a 15 point lead over the best of the best in the world. And he's doing it by intelligent rotation, getting to the far side of the zone and then hitting his shots. 
kid. Bogus says, bring the rest of the lobby on. I'm looking to go aggressive. We talked about King and his shoot first mentality, but the difference between King and Booga is Booga chooses his spots when to go. He knows when he needs to hold off, when he needs to be safe for a second, and when he can go aggressive. You see him stall just for a minute there against Creo, who's pushing in to the top three, and he is able to execute the game plan, come up with the victory. The next clip outlines what makes Booga so special. Booga is a player who avoids fights at all costs early to mid game. He tries his hardest to make it to end game where he knows he will pop off. Let's see exactly how he closes out game 5. Booga is pitted in another 20 man lobby right in the center of the zone. He doesn't have the best loadout, but remember, what makes a good player is his talent and ability to adapt, not his loadout or the material count. But, I mean, you know, it does help. Booga has one elimination, and he needs another if he's going to survive this menacing lobby. With only 50 health, he could be an easy kill for anybody with the opportunity. Booga runs out of materials and desperately needs to find an elimination, but these are moments Booga shines. In fact, he only takes home the trophy because of what you're about to witness next. So this is a bit of a lucky break for Booga. That good old RNG, boys! He lands on two fighting players and is able to secure both points with ease, back at full health and full HP. Booga just went from 10% to 80% chance of winning with a single decision that luckily worked in his favor. Now I'd like to point out something that comes very natural for pro players, but may not be second nature for some of us. I mentioned this in the previous clip and I'll say it again, Booga only fights when it's necessary. Because of Fortnite's ever growing skill gap, it's becoming harder and harder to beat opponents in a one on one. Fights are lasting way too long, and if you're going to win, you need to improvise. Most of Booga's kills are through third party. After securing those two eliminations, he isn't thirsty for kills, he just sits around and lets the player base condense. The fewer players, the easier it is to clean up. I'd like to point out that 5 out of 6 games, Booga made it to endgame. This shows his consistency in one of the most nail-biting land events in history. Booga has to be very careful now. This is where impulse grenades and heavy snipers become your worst nightmare. You never know what is going to occur. Booga starts getting sprayed and he is quick to spam turtle build. Once he hears the enemy reload, he looks to expand outward. Side note, always be sure to expand into another box while getting sprayed or cornered. Having control over two turtle systems makes it harder for enemies to track you. But another player appears above Booga. He's in a really tight scenario now. This next part is even more interesting. Booga hears a trap being placed above him and is able to escape into the storm. Because he did this, he dodged the trap that would have cost him 150 health. Sometimes you can use the storm to avoid death. Taking damage is a lot better than dying altogether. Alright, here it is, the part that seals the deal. Booga is too quick to edit down and falls into his demise. A player looking for an elimination point is quick to kill Booga off with some headshots. Even though Booga lost that round, he still showed us something valuable and worth taking home. Out of the many outlandish plays we witnessed, most importantly we saw how Booga uses his keen game sense to dictate his next moves. He doesn't look for fights like other people do, he takes them as they come. When you seek kills, you often don't get them. Everything that's happened, you see the leaderboards, you see how far it is. You're Booga, you're up by so much, what's the rest of this lobby thinking right now? I, it, it might at this point be a battle for second place, Jack. Such a lead right now, Booga showing why he feels as though he deserves world champion. Yeah. And at this point, I mean, you can't really blame him. He's playing out of his mind, playing incredibly intelligently. Positioning is key and he's going for placement every single time. He's showing why he's on top of the leaderboard. So let's watch Booga's final moments from game six. The final moment that helped him take the trophy and the three million bucks. Does in fact take it over. Meanwhile, Booga, box fight for his life. A little back and forth here. He's waiting to see if this player rotates out. There it is, a big shot. Another elimination. And he's got, he's got near max Are materials. You me? He's gonna trap the ball. Oh, the ball escapes. The absolute seeds right now. Booga still moving through. And at this point, it's a sign of respect. We've got to watch this man continue to dominate. A statement is being made. Dr. Lupo at the end of this game, he'll most likely be crowned the best Fortnite player in the world. I've never seen anybody play in a competitive Fortnite match with a smile on his face like this kid right now, but he is absolutely dominating every single player he's run into thus far. Looking for a shot here with a couple of edits. Rotating back away, pressure from above, and he's immediately going to wall that off. The kids Top are 10! The roof he's right smiling! Now. He what knows it! He knows it! Absolutely ridiculous. Nine players left. Unrelenting is Booga. Hasn't dropped out of first since today started. There's all the remaining players. Running low on materials, but he still wants more. 
four limbs in this game. Box set up for a moment. Pyramid comes through. Booga, still alive. Shots going down. Can't connect with that one. One build left. The final moment of Fortnite. Oh up. my gosh. Bow Drop. down. Surprise. Bow down to Booga. Doesn't even matter. Taking a look at that, Booga has a lot more than meets the eye. His style of play is consistent match after match, and he doesn't panic. It takes a certain type of player to maintain such consistency and do so well without any LAN experience. Booga, the legend, the prodigy, now the World Cup champion. Imagine how many tens of thousands of viewers will flock to his stream. An event with over one million online viewers and tens of thousands in the stadium? This was a colossal moment in history for Kyle Deersdorf, and we're dying to see what he has to show us next. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate all of your comments. It's honestly really great to see everyone's feedback. Let us know down below what your expectations were for the World Cup, who you wanted to win, what you thought of Booga winning. Comment down below and leave a like if you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.